আপনি কোথায় থাকেন আমি বনানিতে থাকি আপনি বাংলা জানেন আমি বেশি বাংলা জানি না কিন্তু বাংলা শিখছি খুব ভালো পরে কথা হবে ঠিক আছে পরে কথা হবে Dear learners, this is Shama from Bani B and welcome you to speaking lesson 3. So, uh, I have given you a task in the previous lesson. I wanted you to write your name and your country's name. So, you can say something like, uh, I can give my example. I will say, Amar Nam Shama, Amar Desher Nam Bangladesh. So, if your name is Jane and if you are from uh, the United States of America, then you might say Amar Nam Jen, Amar Desher Nam America. Okay? So here, today we are going to focus on this dialogue. We have heard this, now we are going to read this. Apni kothai thakin, which means where do you live? Kothai means where. Okay? Apni is you. And thakin, so thaka means to live. So apni kothai thakin, where do you live? So this person is replying, Ami bonanite thaki. That means, I live in bonani. This person is just asking, Apni bangla janen. Do you know, so do you know bangla? This person is saying, Ami beshi bangla jani na. I do not know Bangla much. So I do not know much Bangla. Okay. Kintu Bangla shikchi. But I am learning Bangla. So, okay. I will come back to it later. But there is an explanation needed here. Who bhalo. This person is saying, okay. Very good. So, who means very. Bhalo means good. Pore kotha hobby. Talk to you later. So now this person is saying, Thik ache. Okay, or it's alright. Pore kotha hobby. Talk to you later. Now, let's uh, try to see how these sentences are forms, formed. So, apni kothai thaken. At first, we need to know this question word. Kothai means where. Okay? And apni means you. Apni means you. Ami means I. And thaka is a verb which means to leave. Jana. Uh, let me write it actually. Okay. So, at first, what that person says, apni kothai thaken. Let's learn this word today. Kothai. Kothai means where. Where. Okay. And then what was the other word? Apni and Ami. Right. Okay. So let's learn. Apni. And Ami, right? So Apni means you, Ami means I. If you need it in the phonetics, then I might write it here Apni, Ami. Okay, now what was the first verb we have learned? Thaken, so Thaka. Thaka means to leave. To leave, okay? So, what did we see here? Ami Thaki. So, usually there are many verbs which ends with the A. So this is thaka. So it ends with a sound, right? So if I write it with English letters, 
you can see this thaka right so when i join this thaka bhar with ami how it's formed i need to write ami thaki ami thaki and when this thaka gets joined with apni what happens it is apni thaken right so if you want to say why do you live then you say apni kothay thaken and if you want to say where do i live how will you say that ami kothay thaki right acha now the next verb we learned was jana jana it also ends with the a right jana so how do i write it jana say right apni janen ami jani apni so apni janen that means you know ami jani that means i know right you know i know now i'm going to give you a task right so before that let's look at these two words thaka was to leave it ends with a jana means to know it also ends with a and then we have formed apni jane and ami jani with this word so you have an idea how to form a sentence with the verbs if it ends with a so i have given you another verb here that means that is bola which means to say okay so if you say ami jani for i know then how will you uh, say how will you write i say write it in bangla just like ami jani you will have to write it in with bangla letters and also in uh, with the english letters okay so give me the bangla version of i say translate this in bangla then you say use this word for that okay so i am looking forward to seeing your answers and yeah till then please take care and if you have not subscribed to my channel please 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 do subscribe bye